Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Today, I'm going to recap a 2016 South Korean harrowing zombie horror thriller movie, Train to Busan. This movie is a story about a man and his little daughter who are trapped on a speeding train with zombie hordes. As they try to escape, the zombie keeps multiplying exponentially as it bites the passengers. How do they fight against the zombie? Will they make it out alive to Busan as the last safe place in Korea? Let's find it out. This is Mr. Wu, a divorced fund manager, workaholic and absentee father to his young daughter. His daughter misses her mom and she wants to visit her mom in Busan on her birthday. Out of his guilt, Mr. Wu decides to take his daughter via KTX bullet train from the Seoul station to Busan. The train also carries the other passengers from various background, such as Mr. Wok, a muscular strongman who comes with his pregnant wife, Mrs. Guile. The other passengers are also Mr. Suk, a rich yet coward businessman, and also a baseball team. The story begins with an unknown girl with a bite wound on her leg, who secretly enters the train and attracts the train attendant with her strange act. When the attendant gets closer to her, she suddenly attacks and bites the attendant. It causes a big chaos since both the unknown girl and the attendant surprisingly transform into zombies that attack all the passengers. Within a second, the passengers become zombie hordes prey on the other remaining passengers. On the other car, while Mr. Wu is looking for his daughter who left her seat to find a toilet, he spots something strange on the other car. The passengers are screaming and running towards the next car followed by hundreds of zombies. Mr. Wu immediately grabs her daughter as he finds her and runs as fast as he can. The train keeps moving fast since the zombie apocalypse has rapidly spread across South Korea. But then the train stops at a station which has supposedly been secured by the army and confirmed safe. Mr. Wu and the other passengers get off from the train, expecting the army to come and guard them. Yet all they find is the army who have completely turned into zombies, instantly attack them. The passengers hastily retreat back to the train, but most of them are killed as they race back to the train. The conductor drives the train to Busan right away, after being pushed by Mr. Suk who notices that a quarantine zone has reportedly been established in Busan. When the train starts moving, several passengers have survived and safely boarded the front car, however, Mr. Wu and several passengers still struggle running away from the hordes of zombies. After having a fierce battle against the endless zombies, Mr. Wu manages to get into the train at the last minute but ends up splitting with his daughter into different cars. Mr. Wu, Mr. Wu and one last baseball team member get into car 9, the daughter and Mr. Wu's wife, Mrs. Gyeong, is trapped in between two zombies' cars, in car 13, hiding inside the toilet. They begin to beat the zombies to rescue their loved ones and plan to go to car 15 gather with the other surviving passengers. As they are struggling to beat the zombies, the train passes through the tunnel, and the zombies start to slow down and act strangely. They finally notice that the zombies cannot see in the dark. Mr. Wu takes advantage of the zombies' weakness to deceive them and escape from the zombies without fighting them. Mr. Wu eventually is very relieved to find his daughter, as well as Mr. Wu finally meets her wife. They all have to get through the zombie hordes in front in order to reach the safe car. But there are too many zombies blocking their way, and it is too dangerous and impossible to fight them all one by one. So how do they reach that safe car alive? Can they all survive? They get an idea to crawl through the luggage racks when the train passes through the tunnel. At first, their idea runs well as they expected, until an old man falls down from the luggage rack. Mr. Wu goes to help him but they both get stranded in the car with the zombies when the train has passed the tunnel. It's getting worse because the old man unintentionally steps on a soda can, attracts all the zombies that are spontaneously being aggressive, chasing them. They run very fast to get through the door. Mr. War ends up holding the door, because a zombie gets lodged in it. The baseball player almost gets into the safe car, but he can't even open the glass door. The door is purposely sealed and locked by the surviving passengers inside the car after being provoked by Mr. Sook. Mr. Wu desperately holds the other door from the zombies that keep coming as the baseball player keeps smashing the door. Mr. Wu tries to help Mr. Wu beat the zombies, but unfortunately Mr. Wu got bitten by the zombie and he will soon transform into a zombie as well. Mr. Wu asks Mr. Wu to leave and take care of his wife. The door suddenly breaks and zombies get inside, but Mr. Wu doesn't go down without a fight. Before completely turning into a zombie, Sang Wa sacrifices his life fighting until his last breath, keeping the zombie at bay. 
the baseball player can finally break and open the other doors and they all run quickly to come inside. Mr. Wu grabs Mrs. Gyeong and his daughter, he closes the door immediately and hits Mr. Suk for being so selfish. Mr. Suk tells the other passengers that Suk Wu has been infected. Therefore, Suk Wu and the others from the previous car are locked in the vestibule. Not long after that, the passengers in car 15 suddenly get stormed by thousands of zombies. No one seems to survive. Mr. Wu and the others are shocked wondering how the zombies could get inside while the doors are still perfectly closed. Or maybe someone in the car is already infected. Before they can figure it out, the captain informs the surviving passengers to get ready because they have to change trains since there's a blockade in front of the train. The captain gets off and looks for another train. Mr. Wu tells the rest that they have to move and find a way to Busan. He also promises to his daughter that he will take her to Busan to meet her mom. Meanwhile, the captain finally finds an empty train after many trains with zombies inside. While Mr. Wu and others are moving from the previous train, a burning car hurls into their train. A big crash is unavoidable, luckily, Mr. Wu, his daughter and Mrs. Gyeong don't get hit by the car, yet they are trapped under a zombie car. The zombie car keeps collapsing, but Mr. Wu finds a way out. As he tries to pull the others out, the zombies break through the window of the train car approaching them. The old man then sacrifices himself to stop the zombies from getting to Mrs. Gyeong and Mr. Wu's daughter. The old man ends up dying hit by the collapsing train. Mr. Wu and the girls quickly run away from the hordes of zombies and catch up to the moving train car. Seeing they move, all the zombies from the station chase them right away, piling on top of each other. They all can finally get on the train as Mr. Wu Wu keeps pushing and kicking the zombies away. The car is moving fast, so the zombies cannot catch it up and get left far behind. The three of them eventually survive from the zombie outbreak after getting through a hard time fighting against the zombies. They then carefully walk closer to enter the car and gather with the captain. Mr. Wu opens the cabin door, yet finds a half-turned Mr. Sook in the car instead of the captain. How is it possible? Mr. Sook has supposedly been left behind in the car 15 previously. But how can he get into the car and where is the captain? It turns out Mr. Sook hid inside the toilet when the zombies were attacking the passengers, he survived after pushing the attendant and the baseball players into the zombies to escape by himself. When he ran toward the moving car, he fell down and the captain was trying to help him, but he selfishly pushed the captain and left him behind being attacked by the zombies. Mr. Sook successfully got into the moving car but he also was bitten. Mr. Sook, who has completely turned into a zombie, begins to attack the three of them. Mr. Wu fights him with all his might to protect his daughter and Mrs. Gyeong. Mr. Sook keeps attacking Mr. Wu aggressively. As Mr. Wu pulls Mr. Sook away from Mrs. Gyeong, his hand gets bitten by Mr. Sook. Mr. Wu chains himself on the train, then flings the man off. Realizing that he is bitten, Mr. Wu quickly teaches Sun Gyeong how to operate the train, and says his last goodbye, especially to his daughter who cries out loud. At the end of the story, Mr. Wu who begins to turn into a zombie, pushes himself away and walks out from the car, he smiles and remembers the day when his daughter was born yet regretting not spending enough time to rise her well, he ends up throwing himself off the train just as he completely transform into a zombie. Because of Mr. Wu and Mr. Wu's big sacrifice for their loved ones, the daughter and the wife finally survive from the zombie apocalypse and arrive safely at Busan. If you were one of the passengers, what would you do to survive? Will you be like Mr. Sook? Or are you willing to sacrifice yourself for your loved ones even if it must cost you your life just like Mr. Wu and Mr. Wu? Leave your comments below. And also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.